Good morning, friends. My name is Sergey Kromchenko. I am a software engineering manager of SDET. I've been coding for more than seven years, and today I'm going to explain to you what CI/CD is and why do we need CI/CD. Let's go. <laughs> So what is CI/CD? I'm going to give you two perspectives, QA perspective and a dev perspective. So CI/CD is an automated software. It's a software that helps you to automate processes. It can be different processes. For QA, we're going to take an example of running your automated tests, for example, integration tests. Let's say you have 10 tests on your machine. You wrote 10 test cases. You automated 10 test cases. And you can run them on local, right? No issue at all. But what if you have 1,000 automated test cases? How long is it going to take you to run them? An hour? Two? Many hours, that's for sure. So that's why we need more powerful machine, usually somewhere in the cloud, uh, to run all of your tests concurrently. For example, instead of running five tests concurrently on your machine and you have 1,000 tests, uh, then you can run 100 tests concurrently. So it will be much faster. And how it works is whenever you create a new pull request, CI/CD was probably set up by someone to look at the GitHub or any repository you use, uh, see that there was a new pull request created. It automatically takes the code, clones it, puts it on a cloud uh, on some instance and runs all of your code against the instance that you specified. So that's the beauty of the CI CD for the QA and that's what it pretty much is. It's, an autom it's a software that helps you to automate processes. These, uh, this was the, ba uh, the ba most basic example for the QA. But another example would be for devs is creating new builds. You're a dev, you're working on the app, you added new feature or you made a code change. You're creating a pull request um, and it needs to build, it needs to create a brand new build so you could test it and software team could test it. So that's an example uh, for the dev where you create a pull request, it grabs it, it creates the brand new build and then you send a link to QA or you just test it yourself on that, uh, against that build. So the second one, uh, why do we need to use CI/CD? I pretty much just gave you an example. It is not scalable without CI/CD. We cannot have many team members. Uh, we cannot have many test cases automated because we will not be able to run them or if we will, it will be too slow. And once again, it's just not scalable. So that's the reason why we all need CI/CD is a scalability. Without CI/CD, our app, our team, our company is not scalable. You know, we've talked a lot, but let me show you actual example of what CI CD looks like and how is it getting executed. Uh, and an exa this example will be with the code fresh. Let's go. All right, friends, here's the code fresh, our CI CD we're going to use, and I'm going to introduce you into the UI. So if you look at the left side, you see project uh, menu item, and that's the one we're gonna get familiar with first. If you click on it, it will take you to the projects page where you can see all the projects that have been created so far. I've created only one, which is called Geek Turbo. So let's click on it. So this project can have multiple pipelines and each pipeline, it means one automated thing or one automated part. For example, this one, WDIO regression, this one is the one that runs every time when you create a pull request or when you make a change uh, for the WebDriver IO regression testing framework um, into existing pull request. So let's click on it and I'll show a little more. Okay, so on this page, you see a bunch of runs and, or a bunch of rows. Each row corresponds to each run. For example, this one, uh, this pull request was created uh, by, uh, I'm sorry, this job was triggered by this pull request. Add space to trigger code fresh run. That means, uh, that, even, that is even linkified. So if you click on it, it will take you to the actual pull request that triggered that job. That was me 30 minutes ago. Cool, let's go back. So also it shows you repository. So GitHub is the name of the repository. Example is my branch name. And a master is the branch against which I have just created the pull request. 
pipeline name is WDIO regression as you can see right here and that's the one that also was in a project so once again click on a project pipeline click on it and you see a list of the jobs so let me show you a real example uh, let me go here to VS code and let me just add an extra space right here and then get status get add package.json get commit minus m um, add space to trigger code fresh run perfect get push and since we already have a pull request created right here if you click here you'll see that the new job or a new run was just created and it's in a pending stat status so if we click on it anywhere we will see actual details of it so the first step is always a clone and you probably already know that uh, clone means git clone so we just clone the repository from the github so build is the second step and that's the one where we build a docker image and the third one test that's where we run that docker image and all of the tests inside of it so i will pause the video here and come back as soon as this step is over okay so we have just built our docker image and now it's in a test mode so if you want you can even click on it and see actual execution so what happens now is it's executing command npmi which means it's installing all of the updates and all of the dependencies perfect that was done and now it's running all the tests as you can see running chrome uh, specs dashboard blah 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 anyways so that's how it works uh, we're gonna wait for probably next 30 seconds or something until this job is done so you could see green check mark here just the way it's passed here but meanwhile let me just tell you everything again uh, so that's our job right here it was triggered by the uh, by the github pull request by this commit specifically that we created with you uh, so first step is to clone second one to build third one to test and all of those are configurable that's the way i've set them up they can be very different for different companies and you know even for different teams uh, you can configure each pipeline yourself but as an as a new person to CI CD, try to get familiar with it first, try to get used to using it. And as soon as you get comfortable, then try to play with it. And leave me a comment below if you would like me to give you details, how, uh, if you would like me to give you more details on how to create those pipelines, not only how to use them. Awesome, there we go. So this, the, the test tab is done and you can see results right here. Five passed, five total, total time execution, one minute, 44 seconds. Awesome. That's everything I wanted to show you guys. And by the way, for developers, it will be exactly the same thing. But instead of the running uh, regression testing, you're, you will build an application. Thank you for your time. All right. Now you know what CI CD is and why the hell do we need to use it? Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, give me a big fat thumb up. If you did not, Put a comment below, tell me why you did not so I could improve it. And I will see you next time.